It's so nice to have you here with me today. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Just fine. Howdy, how do you do? Hello, good day. Now that we're together, learning so much fun. The more of us, the better. So come on. Hello kids! Hello everyone! Do you like that song? That's good! Today is April 16, 2020. Today is a great day. We will study and learn a new things again. And I will teach you how to read scales. It means we will find out the accurate weight or mass of an object in grams and in kilograms here are the objectives of this lesson first measures objects using appropriate measuring units in grams or kilograms next one compares mass in grams or kilograms Let's have a recap about our past lesson last time. What are those? Mass or weight is the amount of matter that makes up an object. Another, we use grams and kilograms to weigh objects. Another, gram is a metric unit used to measure the weight of light objects. It is written as a small letter G in short. While kilogram is a metric unit used to measure the weight of heavy objects, we write kg for kilograms. Last time, we identify which unit of measuring mass is appropriate to use in finding the weight of the object. But how can we find the accurate mass or weight of an object? What device we will use? Do you have idea? Yes, it's a weighing scale. We use different weighing scale, depends on the object. Like this example, we have small weighing scale. Here are the example of small weighing scale. We use this weighing scale when we measure the weight of light objects. For example, the weight of this paper clip, a thumbtacks, a pinch of salt, or other cooking ingredients, and chocolates, and many more. We use big weighing scale for heavy objects. Take a look on this example. This kind of weighing scale is used when we want to find the weight of heavy objects. For example, the weight of this chicken in the poultry, the live chicken, or other animals or finding the weight of this meat in the market or weight of fruits even our weight as well do you know kids that weighing scale is also like a clock there is a digital weighing scale in this type of weighing scale it shows the accurate weight of an object in the screen take a look at this so this is the exact weight of this meat another is we have this 
kind of weighing scale which is called the analog weighing scale. So in this type of weighing scale has also different parts. Take a look on this. Let's find out its parts. So an analog weighing scale has a plate where we put the object to weigh. It has also pointer that indicates how many grams or kilograms an object weigh. Weighing scale is a device used to measure weight or mass. But take note, when we are using this kind of weighing scale, which is the analog weighing scale, make sure that the pointer or needle is pointing at zero. So you need to adjust this part and set it at zero to give you the accurate measure of weight. Let's measure mass in grams. Let's measure the mass of the pineapple. The pointer is pointing at 900 grams. The mass of the pineapple is 900 grams. Let's measure the mass of an apple. In this scale, every five lines is equal to 50 grams. So 50, 100, 150. So the pointer is pointing at 150 grams. The mass of an apple is 150 grams. Now, let's measure the mass of these carrots. The pointer is pointing at 400 grams. The mass of the carrots is 400 grams. Now, let's measure mass in kilograms. Let's measure the mass of the pumpkin. The pointer is pointing at 400 kilograms. The mass of the pumpkin is 400 kilograms. How about this pack of suitcase? The mass of the suitcase is 30.9 kilograms. How about the mass of this dough? A weighing scale indicates that this dog weighs 8.2 kilograms. How about this basketball? The basketball has a mass of 500 grams. So two identical basketball will have a total of 1,000 grams and 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilograms. Let's compare the mass of this boy and this baby. A boy weighs 20 kilograms and a baby weighs 5.8 kilograms. We can say that a boy is heavier than a baby. How about the mass of this apple or the weight of this apple compared to the weight of the strawberries? This apple has a weight of 500 grams. This strawberries weighs 500 grams. We can say that the weight of apples is equal to the weight of strawberries. How about the weight of these oranges compared to the weight of these apples? This oranges weighs 3 kilograms, while these apples weighs 
500 grams. We can say that 4 oranges are heavier than 3 apples. Now it's your turn. What is the weight or mass of this onion? Correct, it's 3 kilograms. How about this fast food? Correct, it's also 3 kilograms. How about this rice? Correct, it's 2 kilograms. Compare the weight of these potatoes to flour. Potatoes weigh 700 grams while flour weighs 2 kilograms. Correct. So, flour is heavier than potato. Correct. Next, how about the weight of this chicken compared to cow? Correct. Chicken is lighter than cow. Let's sum up what you have learned today. We use different weighing skill in finding the mass or weight of an object. Light objects are measured using ground. Heavier objects are measured using kilograms. We can compare the weight or mass of the objects as heavier or lighter than the other. That's all for today, kids. Teacher Eileen saying, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours from Dolly Parton. Happy weekend, everyone.